Hello YouTube, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Um, today is our cook-off day. It is our cook-off day and we're getting the steaks ready right now. So let me show you the steaks that we got. These are the steaks that we got, two big, nice steaks. So what I'm gonna do, I already got my pan on the oven with some butter in there and I'm just gonna wash my steak wash it and dry rub it real good and um sear it for nine minutes on one side and 11 minutes on the other just like Ducey do it and then i'm gonna stick it in the oven for a well done should be well done by the time they get here at at five o'clock it is now about 3 30 so it should have a well done this on i'm gonna just keep checking on it in the oven so it won't dry out and these two steaks right here, they had them on sale. See, they posted them in $32.32, but they was on sale for $13.79, so we got a good deal on these big, juicy steaks. Uh, what kind are they? Uh-oh. They're bubbling up over there. It's ready for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out for Zoom. Uh, let me see though. I want to see ribeye. These are some ribeye steaks, okay? Tell we don't eat steak much, but I don't even know what kind it is. Ready, baby? To lose? Excuse our bed, and then we just went wash. I gotta go fold all clothes, and there's a lot of stuff going on today. All right, you guys. See well, y'all in a minute. Hey, you guys. I have just washed my, seasoned it real thoroughly, even on the edges and everything. Season real thoroughly with black pepper brown sugar or something Ducey put on here i might put brown sugar on here so i can get a good crisp on it okay well first let me finish mine i season mine with garlic powder black pepper and cajun seasoning that is it i am going to put some brown sugar on here before i sear it in the pan my baby over here he is just marinating he is kind of like letting the italian juices just seep through and stuff now he's going to put some cajun seasoning on i know and I don't know what else he's gonna season with. Got anything to say? I'm sure not gonna tell you what I'm gonna season with. Anything I'm gonna steal is I'm gonna put mine, I'm gonna sear mine and get mine I'm on the oven. I'm gonna let get finished so I can go right. on and get on the sear thing and I can do okay. mine. We got it, we going you guys. All right, now let's get it right over here. Butter's brown, ready to go. All right. Mine has the Brown sugar on there. It's going over here to the oven. Okay. Yeah. I'm just finna set it in there. Yeah, so that how that sound. I had a pose sound. Can't get off here, little girl. I'm too used to bigger up killer. I'm gonna bring that up, this up to medium. So it'll be real good and hot. Nine minutes on this side. And then you should say 11 minutes on the next side. So we're just going to see how this, how this steak come along. Then it's going in the oven until the kids get here for a well done tester. So I'm about to flip my steak. Don't worry about it sticking out like that. That little piece right there, it'll cook. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well. You want to get Christmas on it. That's all right. Oh, that right there, oh, that'll cook. And if they end, anyway, we probably won't even cut that off. But it'll cook in the oven. So it wants to be on this side for 11 minutes. I am a minute late flipping mine. That thing's gonna be pretty good though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm going to do like this again. Look at that. Oh, that is 
juicy claws that like that there. Yeah, I love that juice on there. What's that going on? Uh-huh. All right, yeah, I'm going to stick it in the oven. What about the next hour? Cause I like mine real good and done. But I'm hoping it don't get tough or dry out. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit uh, of water. Don't know. I, I think I spray it real good with avocado oil just to keep a little moisture going without taking that seasoning off of it with the water. Alrighty. About nine minutes to go. And I'll be sticking mine in the oven. Okay, here's my seared on both sides with a little juice. I sprayed that with avocado oil all around here. Then I put that in there. Now I'm gonna cover it. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna put I, I'm just I'm gonna put probably two douses of butter on the side just to keep it kind of moist in there. He has a little bit of water going for his. He said he's gonna boil his. I ain't for the boil match, man. Oh, you're not? You're gonna put that on. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you're not gonna boil yours, babe? No, what that I'm what not. you said? B, I'm finna get ready to boil this grease up out of here so I can watch this skillet. He's boiling my grease out of the skillet so that he could go ahead and sear his. Wow. Okay, we'll see him lay his down. His is no, don't be worried seasoned about my up. Over there, I don't really? even know what he put on it. Don't and it's marinated. Alrighty, you're finna put his on. Well, I'm finna put mine into the oven. And it'll be there because it's now a little past four. Just a little past four. I'm going to get started on my mac and cheese. Okay, we're going to use this Ebo macaroni. I'm just going to put a little garlic powder and black pepper in mine. I'm going to use this uh, Mexican blend cheese. Just some shredded cheese in there. I think I'm going to put a little milk for creaminess. I want to taste it to make sure it's um, seasoned well. Because macaroni cheese has to be seasoned well. This is for steak B. I'm basic. Um, I'm not cooking no doggone. Over there, little beast for steak A. And I'm basic. So what you doing, I baby? I'm a basic person. I'm not cooking no nothing professional. I'm just. I'm not either. We just doing a little some mac and cheese. And I'm some just steak. cooking some basic mac and cheese. All right. And this one I'm gonna put in. Let me show you. La 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 la. Smell it. Okay, gonna do the shells and cheese. We'll see. That's all I'm cooking. That's all I need. You gonna do the shells and cheese? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I'm gonna do the elbow mac and cheese. They gonna think that's you because you always do the homemade shell, the homemade mac and cheese for Thanksgiving. Remember? Oh. They gonna think that's you. Well, oh. I'm gonna do the mac and cheese. I got it. I'm gonna do it. Son. You gonna do the mac and cheese? Yep. I can't even know where you put milk in. You gonna have, it's gonna have make me I ain't gonna milk. put no milk in mine, but I'm not gonna put, put no, milk. I'm not gonna put no chicken, uh, cream of chicken in it either. So I'm gonna have to just make sure it's good and seasoned because they'll know that's mine. That's my little signature. I'll, I always put some cream of chicken in mine. Cream of chicken. Cream of chicken. All right, so this is it. My cheese seasoning and elbow macaroni. And then I'm gonna tell I'm gonna put some doodle where it's at. Oh, the, so one of these states got doodle. Oh my gosh. She can be like, oh my gosh. I know, she is definitely not going to want to take me. Okay, you got your buddy going. No, I'm going to tell her after. It's going to look like mine. I guess you didn't just burn it. I'm going to tell her after it's cooked. After they eat. Yeah, after they eat. <laughs> now, here's the key right here. One of these states had dropped in the toilet. <laughs> no. After someone pooped on it. Ew, and we no. want you guys to figure out what steak tastes there. I see Tay Tay now. <laughs> Me too. Oh, she would have a fit. Oh my gosh, why would you say that? She would have a fit. I'm going to go get my paws and go to the car. <laughs> She'll be out of here for sure. I'm going to go get my paws. Oh she don't say purse, she say paws. She'll be definitely upset because she's a neat freak. She'll definitely be upset. Yeah, but she just so dark and special. She definitely will. We're going to try to get the mac and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and get my water on. Hanging up out the skillet. Yeah, it is. But just let it, stay, let it hang out. You're going to end up in the oven with it. You have to flip it on out of there. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I'm going to let it cook on this side right here. Fold it like a gangster. 
Okay, that's how you're going to do it with this little piece Hope of Oh, Cal. Dinner. This Cal ain't going to never be the same no more. Okay, you're rolling, rolling pretty good. It looks good. It's good, babe. You say what I got to say? Yeah. Are you doing, you doing good? Oh, Feeling I'm good? All, I'm AG, so. You hear me? I'm AG. Alrighty. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm ready for this steak to get done so I can slam something. Well, I can game bang with it. I'm going to keep for future references on, on everything. Uh -huh. I do not eat no medium well, no rare. I eat mine as well done. My steak have got to be well done. No red. I don't want to see no blood coming out talking about, uh, this is for the, uh, this protein for the, it's good for you. Oh, hey, I go get some protein shake. I don't need no doggone blood, no animal blood to tell me I need. No, uh -uh, no. I eat well done steak. And my steak is going to be cooked to the well done. I'm going to cut it open so y'all can see. It's going to be brown all the way through. So for yo, for those of you that say I'm, um, um, what you want to call it? Mishandling the steak. Mishandling the meat. Uh... I salute you. Bye bye. I'll talk to you later then. Because Thanks. I'm going to cook mine. It's well done. Thanks, Mr. King. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The hubby's getting ready to transfer his steak. And my seasoned, well seasoned water got the uh, mac and cheese and got the macaronis in there. My macaronis. I'll be done before it's all over with. you going to mess around and eat so cold. What you doing, girl, with all that? Ooh, look. And putting all that goodness right over the top of there. We back up. Yeah, all that's right. Yeah, that's best. Should keep it from drying out. What and that, that's going to go into the oven. Okay, so I'm going to do a half a block of the Velveeta shells and cheese. Shells, well, Velveeta cheese. A half a block of it, a stick of butter and um, some Mexican style cheese blended in there. And if I have to, um, some extra seasoning for taste. So that's what I'm gonna do to my mac and cheese. Then I'm gonna um, transfer it to a foil pan and put the second bag on top and kind of bake it through from then on out. I gotta make sure I pull these between 11 and 13 minutes so that the noodles will be al dente and then go ahead and finish cooking in the oven. Alrighty, so I'm ready for my mac and cheese to come out. Well, my noodles to come out the pan. Pot.